What everyday skill becomes suspicious if you're too good at it? Remembering someone else's schedule. I've had people get a little freaked out when I ask how a specific appointment task is going when I remember them telling me about it days prior. Mine's isn't so much the schedule but the random little things people tell me about themselves. I got a friend her favorite DVD as a random present and I was like why are you shocked you told me it was your favorite film like two years ago? Tying a noose. At basic training I got tasked to help the drill sergeants create their haunted house. Battalion competition. Long story. My drill asked if anyone knew how to tie a noose, and I whipped out a perfect one in only a few seconds. He just looked at me and said private. What the F? From what I know about drill sergeants, I was expecting him to make fun of your suicidal tendencies for the next week. Edit. Jesus Christ I know they aren't allowed to actually say that. UFS. Being able to quickly convert between ounce and gram. Mum the recipe calls for an ounce of flour. Me I weighed it out and left it just shy of an ounce. Don't need to catch a felony charge. Mum what? Me what? Edit. Thanks for the gold. Hey son. Let's drink your first beer together. Me. Slams beer. Edit. I just started an account after lurking for years. Thanks for starting me off on a good foot. Reddit. Relevant. Haley's first drink. HTTPS colon slash slash www YouTube com watch I once had a neighbor catch me while I was taking groceries out of my car and ask if I knew how to open locked doors as they lock themselves out by mistake went over to their door took out a credit card and shimmied my way in in no more than five seconds probably was bittersweet for them my boss locked herself out of the shop last week and I did this we're getting new locks and a security system now. Remembering things about a person from a few months years ago when the person herself can't remember about it. I have this problem. I intentionally pretend to forget things about people half the time to make myself seem more normal. Like, it's freakish how good my memory is. Till Reddit thinks that lockpicking is an everyday skill. I think it's the opposite. To be honest, I took up lockpicking as a hobby and people think it's weird and get a putt, but practice enough and become a locksmith. Nobody would judge. Walking quietly. Edit. This blew up. I used to practice being a ninja at primary school. Eventually I would walk nearly silently regardless of what shoes I wore. Now at work I'm constantly scaring people even when carrying things since I walk a lot quieter than they are used to in heavy boots. I have very fast reading comprehension. People never believe me when I say that I've already read it and get frustrated that I don't take longer. I can't do simple math, but I read like lightning. I'm also very good with card handling so everyone suspects that I cheat at poker. I encourage that because it keeps their eyes on my hands and not on my face. My mum can speed read like that and it drives me nuts. One morning I gave her a book I had read because I found it interesting. The Wealthy Barber. While we're watching TV, I hardly noticed her glancing at the book and she proceeds to toss it on the coffee table. Oh I finished reading it. Holy s 25 minutes at most. Given it's a fairly small book, 150 pages, it took me weeks to get around to finishing what she hardly flinched at. Crazy skill. Being a very persuasive salesperson. Uh, if someone is too convincing, I just assume they are trying to scam me. Eavesdropping. I just passively listen to other people a lot when I'm alone. Even if I'm doing something else. It gets really embarrassing when you bring up information you heard from their conversation forgetting that you weren't involved. Or when you laugh at a joke said by someone across the room. Edit. My previous grammar frustrated me. Or when you laugh at a joke said by someone across the room. Found OP, HTTP, colon slash slash, media, Giphy, com media slash 57DX612 Zygki Giphy. The removal of stains. I like to use lots of bleach and get the OU must be used to cleaning up the murder scenes. A I like the smell of it. B if I was cleaning up a murder scene there are way better chemicals than bleach. Walking silently. It's always a good skill to have to be able to be quiet in a moment's notice. But do it too well and you start appearing behind people and freaking them out. How long have you been there? Type things. 
My so's parents house has hardwood floors that everyone just stomps around on. I don't think it's really an everyday skill, but being able to tell somebody by the sound of their footsteps. When friends or family approach my door I know who's about to knock. I love creeping them out by saying come in. Name here. You can tell a lot by the sound of footsteps. Who is it? Are they angry? Happy? Relaxed? Drunk? Are they wearing shoes? Heels? Bayfoot? Though I personally have a habit of tiptoeing everywhere. Typing. I'm definitely going to say typing. I type at a little over 150 WPM. I've been repeatedly accused of faking it, which sounds funny until it's your co-workers and boss saying it, calling your work into question. Edit. Holy crow. Thanks for my most upvoted comment. To answer a couple questions. I'm a writer. I use a QWERTY keyboard and I've been typing for a minimum of 3 hours a day for the past 16 or so years. My typing speeds have been measured in varying tests for work and school, the lowest coming in at 138 about 4 years ago and middling out about 6 months ago at 154. The highest I've scored on any reliable test was 157 last year. Typing speeds like mine aren't all that uncommon. Certainly not as much as they used to be. Nothing special. I just type a lot. I find it much weirder that people find fast typing unlikely. It's kind of creepy chatting with someone like that through IM. I spend like 15 seconds deciding how to phrase and typing out did you like that one movie that came out last week? And about 5 seconds later they respond with, yeah, it was better than I expected. I mean it still wasn't the greatest movie I've seen, but I guess I'd recommend it to someone who likes that genre. It's like I'm talking to a bot. In my experience in the US with people who don't have much background in science being able to convert imperial weight to metric by knowing the conversion ratios makes them think I'm heavily involved in drugs. I wish we would switch already. The metric system is so much more intuitive. Shuffling cards. Him. Wanna play cards? Me. Sure. Gambit routine with lightning speed. Him. Not for money. Right. Not for money? Genuine kindness. My father was such a good soul, and people were suspicious about his kindness sometimes. I had a boss who was pretty much Mr. Rogers. It took a while to get used to it. We still work with each other sometimes and I still occasionally think he's being a sarcastic ass when he's definitely not. Not tying. I learned from the best. A tight, tanned dominatrix down on fifth. Jackie. She never wanted me to escape, but why would I? Burn me with that wax domina. Hit me with that whip domina. Safe word was onion. There wasn't anything I wasn't willing to do for her when she had me wrapped up like Christmas present. One night, a client turned the fun on her. I found him. Of course. Made some knots of my own. Gave him some knots of his own. He does not have hands anymore. He does not have eyes anymore. Guess he didn't know the safe word. Being calm. People accuse you of being cold if you are not as agitated as they are. Same here. And the more stressful the situation, the calmer I get. Makes people wary. Picking up on small details and remembering them for months. My friends are always like how did you possibly remember that? I hate that. People ask me a question and I'm like you asked me the same thing last week on Monday and the week before on Wednesday. But it's quite selective. There's a lot I don't remember. Knife sharpening. Unless you're a chef. Edit. Yes. I get it. People. Butchers too. I once unnerved a roommate when she walked into the kitchen and saw me casually humming while sharpening my big F off chef's knife. What? I just want to maintain my big F off chef's knife and chop garlic more efficiently. Lying. Smiling. Anything borderline fancy with twirling knives. I carry and use my pocket knives quite often and have picked up ways to easily handle them. People either assume that I'm full weeb or a serial killer. Removing clothes off of an uncooperative toddler. Have a seat over here. Interrogating someone without them knowing. I was at a school thing, and one of my girl classmates really liked a guy, but was too nervous to talk to him. She asked me to figure out some of his info, and I ended up getting first name, last name, 
school, hobbies, and grade level. She was happy, but more than a little creeped out about how casually I did it. My former boss told me I had this skill and she would have me go to all of the hiring events that we had. I worked for a college, and have me mingle and talk among the applicants and then have me show her the ones I felt had the most promise. Whistling. I can whistle the android text tone and it freaks people out. I can make a sound that is identical to the sound of a vibrating smartphone. It's basically a low hum through very slightly open lips and across your teeth. I used to sit in class and make this sound, and people would freak out and check their backpacks or purses, and the teacher would get super pissed, since having a phone go off repeatedly is distracting. Edit. Whoa. This blew up a little. The YouTube vid. HTTPS colon slash slash. Yahoo. BHB2 Jimmy GTN4 number 410. That you Hushmail posted. Skip to 650. Is exactly what I do. Running in high heels. Dudes that can run well in high heels have nothing to hide at that point. So by an incidental combination of being a gearhead and at one time a tow truck driver I am a little more observant when it comes to cars than most. I also have a knack for numbers and memorize things unintentionally. I've stopped mentioning to people that I saw their car somewhere or other. The movies for example. It's awkward explaining that I know your plate and can spot your P. O. S. Sentra from across the parking lot. I thought that was just standard car enthusiast life. I don't know Dave. Who's that? OHH. The guy that drives a white Chris. Right. Who's Jeremy? Black Camaro right. I know like hundreds of people based solely on the cars they drive. Due to my job. Property management. And me being a flake. Used to lose forget my keys a lot. I've gotten really good at quickly breaking into houses and apartments. Everyday skill. I look at license plates. I don't know why. But it's everyday for me. But for some reason I pretty much had the license plate of the girl I like memorized. It was easy to remember and we worked the same place together every day so I saw it a lot. One time I almost slipped and said hey, where are you driving out in today? And almost mentioned that the truck's license plate looked just like hers. My father-in-law has the easiest license plate number I have ever seen in my 29 years of life. So one day when I was over his house I was like hey how was your trip to Petsmut? He gave me this look like I was stalking lol. I explained I was at Target, right next to Petsmut store, and saw his car and I know his license plate number since it's extremely easy to remember. Locating children. I read that as lactating. I used to be a dispatcher for home hearing fuel in Juneau, Alaska and when is meet people I'd say oh, you live such and such street. I'd get an uncomfortable silence from them and have to tell them we deliver your oil. I work. Former garbage man here. Yup. Strike up a conversation with someone at a bar once who I absolutely f-ing hated as a customer. These rotten pieces of s would throw food and refuse straight into a can that I couldn't put on a tipper meaning I have to pick up and dump 200 lbs of bull 6 feet in the air and dump by hand. As soon as I heard his last name I repeated the first and his address. That ass knew. He knew. He had seen me throw that goddamn can into the middle of his yard on more than one occasion when I had rotten garbage juice running down the back of my neck because he was too lazy, stupid or cheap to use a f-ing bag. I asked him politely to use a goddamn garbage bag or two and left it at that. And he did. Edit wanted to add I am a former garbage man. That job is hell. Recognizing faces. I was approaching the check-in counter of a hotel I didn't remember being in before when the desk clerk welcomed me by name. I was visibly startled. His co-worker explained he's got a freakish memory. I checked later I had been there three years before. In his job, with the thousands of faces he sees a year, that is a little disturbing. Knowing where people keep items on their person. It's worse if you can move things from one pocket to another without them noticing. Not me, but someone I know once mentioned to me back in their high school days. They were suspected of being a snitch because they would always be inclined to leave right before the bust happened. It wasn't that the guy was a snitch. He'd say that sometimes he just got a feeling, or he knew when a party was just dead. Some sort of sixth sense for this. My grandfather was like that. He skipped so many Gestapo roundups. I asked him if he could pinpoint the thing that warned him, and he just say things looked different and I got an uneasy feeling. 
Once he did get caught by Gestapo, but he wouldn't elaborate much what happened after, you can imagine why. Sex. If you're too good, people will assume you've had a lot of it and are, therefore, a slut. If you're good enough, they won't have the brain power to question anything. Cleaning blood from things. Every woman, especially mom should have some ability here, but be able to help someone cleaning up after an accident or injury and get the surprised looks and side eyes. Hubby's in the Egger branch of the US military. Within a month of married, his whole shop was bringing bloodied uniforms to our house. F touch football and kitchen accidents. Read F Ery, but thank God for baking soda. Having a really good memory. I've learned that this can creep people out. I'm not an inquisitive person at all and I'm not nosy. I just remember things when people tell me. So now, I'll often pretend like it's my first time hearing something when someone tells me a personal detail they've told me before. Not being on my phone all day. People look at me wrong just idling around and looking at them. I love using the internet, playing games, etc. All day but I am the weird one when they are on their phones when we are out drinking. Noticing details about people. I have moved around a lot and have worked in a lot of industries. One being in tourism. If I'm a tour guide and I notice a particular brand of clothing and ask someone if they're from a particular place and am right it's me being observant and leads to a fun discussion. If I do the same thing in line getting coffee it's considered creepy. Remembering names. Oh hi Beth. Remember me. We sat on a bench together for like 5 minutes about a year ago. Ironing. I tell people I'm married. I'm not sure I get this one. Why would being good at ironing be suspicious? In freshman year of high school, a teacher accused me of cheating on a test because I finished it too quickly. Ironically, the test was on test taking strategies. Getting over bad feedback negative events. I have a rule that if something bad happens at work I can be upset for 20 seconds then move on. Not let it bother me except to fix it if needed. People seem to think that makes me a bit psychopathic. Sharpening knives. IT's important to sharpen your knife before you use IT and after. F you neighbors. Using a slap chop. How did you get so good at that movement? Lock picking. Either they do it for a living, lock themselves out of their house car a lot, or they are a master thief and are about to jack all of your ass. Fun story, I was visiting my wife at her office and someone accidentally threw some important papers into the lock to be shredded bin. Next thing I hear, loudly over the whole office, honey, we need you to pick a lock, dart. I am not a locksmith so I'm sure that looked great to everyone. Crappy lock though, two paper clips and a few seconds later and it was opened. Papers retted, then in locked it back, all with an audience. Would not recommend. Super fun skill to have though. Being able to measure somewhere between 59 inches using some arbitrary references on your hand. Apparently, knowing drug names. I once told somebody that they could mix ibuprofen and acetaminophen because they don't F with each other and they thought I was a drug dealer for the longest time SMH. Hand washing. If you go above the wrist and you're not a surgeon I'm going to kill you before you kill me. Maintaining composure during a crisis. Do it too much people and think you lack sympathy and are a sociopath. Shanking things up and down. Like protein shakes and stuff. Whoa, man. You do that really fast. Edit. Shaking. Autocorrect is the bane of my existence. I knew something was wrong when I got a notification saying I'd received a lot of comments. Why are you stabbing your protein shake? Opening a beer without a proper bottle opener. No, no. I definitely don't practice this multiple times a day. Recognizing people. There have been more than a few occasions where I will have not seen a person for years and in a few seconds of seeing their face I know who they are. I find it a little weird too because they may not recognize me. Also remembering things. I will remember situations from literally over a decade ago just from someone mentioning a name. As a guy, being good at undoing a bra with one hand while making out with a girl. If you do this too smoothly, she may suspect that you are a player. Best to fumble at it clumsily until it pops open. But don't fumble so much you ruin the moment. 
it's a delicate balance. Digging holes. Picking locks. When did lock picking become an everyday skill? Being able to count money really fast. Not tying in the binding of things. Edit to add. HTTPS colon slash slash. Yahoo. The ability to get into locked buildings. Hiding bodies. Everyday skill. Ed, nice meeting you. I'll be going then. Butchering. I work professionally with raptors. The feathered kind not the clever girl kind. And for a while I was prepping on average 15 quail a day. From frozen thawed to plucked and gutted and portioned. It's useful in the kitchen too. For ducks. Turkey. Chicken. I've also processed venison before. Then when people find out that I work at a landfill. I fly the raptors to keep the gulls out. They are suddenly afraid to make me mad. Aim in Counter Strike Global Offensive. Playing an old game really well. Everyone is a hacker. I'm a male and I'm really good at shredding carrots. Like really really good. Could do that for hours at an incredible pace. OMG I'm so alone. Being really good at tongue exercises when you're a guy and a performer, musician, actor, etc. Dart. Let's just say that if you're a girl, you want to date one of these guys. Source. I'm a girl dating an actor. Doing math in your head. When I was in class and the teacher would pose a problem, I could do it in my head before the others could get out their calculators. Everyone would get annoyed and think I was cheating somehow. Sarcasm. Any housework. I tell everyone I'm secretly a stay-at-home mum. Being male and having a natural rapport with kids. Kids really seem to like me, and I get along with them really well. Not quite sure why, but I've been given the stink eye by parents who don't know me when they see me interacting with kids. Like I'm the Pied Piper or something and I'm going to steal their children for something nefarious. Certain types of cleaning. A few years ago I was at work and someone dropped a coffee pot that shattered everywhere. So glass and liquid were in a pretty good size area. Me and my buddy left to get a mop bucket and a broom. We weren't gone long. Another co-worker of ours that stayed to pick up some of the glass even though we told him not to do it barehanded. When we got back he was wiping down a doorknob and we asked him why he was doing that. As we walked into the room the entire mess was gone. When we turned around he had disappeared from the room. The trash had a new bag in it and there was no trace of anyone ever being there. So in the 45 minutes it took us to get supplies and a fill up a mop bucket this kid got all the glass shards. Cleared the counter and floor of coffee. Taking all the trash out. And wiped down a doorknob. He should've been a custodian. But he could've been a murderer. Being sneaky sneaky. Many times in my life I've accidentally sneaked up on people at work or in stores. I get some really weird looks from people sometimes. Like where the f did you come from? Looks around. A lot of items I intentionally cough. Sniff or shuffle my feet so I don't scare people. Sometimes I hear other people walking and it sounds like they're stomping around like they're mad. But they just walk like that normally. TLDR. Walking. So many. Lock picking. Climbing over around things to go places you aren't supposed to go. Breaking into cars. Playing with fire, explosives. Fixing things like computers and cars. Mac delivering situations to somehow make it work. Encryption. Tor. Darknet. I'm not a malicious person. I swear. I just have a compulsion to be able to go do things I'm not supposed to go. 